Oh wow, 140 Megalosaurus. That's scary. Welcome back, everybody, to Ark Survival Ascendant. I'm Rule Guy. Gave me named in this episode. We are going to take on the Central Cave with Barry Berkman version 2.0. Um, and um, we are uh, down here at the river, as you can see, just getting him leveled up a little bit and getting some fish in his inventory uh, because that is what's going to heal him. I don't actually want that. I do want to keep the hide. Normal meat's not going to do us any good. Okay, so he's a 5,000. He's got 500 melee damage. He's pretty tough already. Um, let's get his health up to, say, 7,000, and then we'll start pumping uh, melee. So if you didn't know this about Baryonyx, um, if you go eat fish in the water, they heal really quick. Um, so let's do that. I just saw a, a salmon somewhere. Where is he? He's over here. No, oh, nice big salmon, yeah. Uh, shit, except for it goes up in the air. I don't know why the hell they do that. I guess I can still hit it, though. So, yeah, if, uh, if you're on your berry and you're in the water and you just start eating fish, he'll heal super fast. Um, he, his health is already almost all the way up. Plus, I want to take some fish with us into the cave. Um, I don't know if that cave... I haven't been into the central cave yet. Uh, not even like a little ways into it uh, in Ark Ascended. Been into it uh, in Survival Evolved many times. Um, and there was a one or two deep pools in there in Evolved, but we noticed in, when we did the, uh, the, the sorry Lower South Cave that the deep pools are no longer deep pools. So, wow, look at all those wrecks over there. Oh, uh, let's see. Level 20 Rex. 25, I think. And 95. Yeah. Not really anything I'm too concerned about right now. So, yeah, we're just going to collect ourselves a, a decent amount of fish here. And then um, head on up to the cave. I don't have anybody else with me. It's just me and, and Barry here. But I, I think, you know, as long as we, you know, take it easy, I think we'll, we should be fine. Um, let's go ahead and kill these Rexes. That'll get us some XP. Neither one of them are that big. Barry is uh, fully imprinted too, by the way. So that uh, if you didn't know, when you ride a dino that you imprinted, they do 30% more damage and take 30% less damage. So it's a pretty damn good deal. 
Grab the pteranodon egg there. I think that's what that was. All right, let's kill um, this Rex over here. This one is a little higher level, but we'll be fine. We got full health. Kill these raptors too, might as well. We'll just kill everything, man. Two levels. Let's put all that into melee. Uh, grab the fish. Dump the. Uh, let's keep the hide too. We'll dump the rest of that. Okay. Let's get into this fight here. It is not my intention to breed wreck a Rex army for the bosses. I'm going to try and do all of them with Therizinos. Um, but if it becomes apparent that that may not work so well, he doesn't even give a shit about me. He's going after the baby. What an asshole. <laughs> Kills the mom and then goes after the baby. I would never do that. <coughs> um, anyway. Okay, so, yeah, it's not my intention to do a Rex army um, unless it becomes apparent that the Therizinos are not as effective, but... I know, I know they're really effective. They're some of the best dinos to use against the dragon, which is the hardest boss. Well, I don't actually the overseer is the hardest boss, but we're just gonna try and do full Therizino and just see how it goes. Um, and you know, like I said, if it becomes apparent like it's not as effective as I'm thinking it's gonna be, then we can always switch over to Rexes if we have to. All right, grab all that, grab this, dump that shit. I know, I dumped the Rex arms, but I got plenty of Rex arms. It's not a big deal. All right, let's head on up to the central cave. All right, here we go. Um, This is where we're at, by the way, for anybody that's interested. I didn't show the location of the south cave in the last episode, but that location is uh, right about here so there's like this little ravine here and this in the cave is right about there for anybody who is interested um and the central cave is more or less in the center of the map a little bit north um it's almost due west from uh, i'm sorry due east from the volcano and yeah that's where we at uh this cave has a lot of bats in it as well as all the rest of the the nasty stuff and this little skinny spot right here is the spot that I could not get the Thylakaleo through. Which was very frustrating, but it is what it is. So let's go ahead and do this. We're going to take it nice and slow. We should be fine. I'm not expecting any issues. Uh, we have two routes here. I'm trying to remember where that where it goes. Let's go left. I think left is kind of what you might call the main route. Uh, we do have, yes, we do have antidote. In fact, let's put this antidote down here. Because um, we're most likely going to get rabies from these damn bats. Oh, look at this, man. This will get us some points. All right, can we get this note? Were it not restricted to the waters, Carcharodon ultramegalodon would be one of the most dangerous creatures on the island. As powerful and dangerous as the Tyrannosaurus is on land, Megalodon is near its equal in the water. In addition, it has a speed advantage over any non-aquatic creature when submerged. Megalodons need large quantities of food to sustain themselves, so they attack most creatures immediately on sight Smaller fish are the sole exception I've seen. I believe this is because they cost more energy for megalodons to catch than the predator would gain. Having access to the resources and treasures hidden deep within the ocean is near impossible without a domesticated sea creature. The megalodon, though difficult to domesticate, proves to be very useful when exploring the deep sea. It's not the most efficient swimmer, but it should be able to protect your cargo should you find yourself in a hostile encounter. All right, cool. Uh, we will be getting started with our sea army here pretty soon. 
Let's back up a little bit so we don't aggro everything all at the same time here. Take care of the spiders first. Okay, I'm gonna hop off and let's pull the bats next. Uh, I need to get a good shot. I don't want to pull the Arthoplura at the same time as the bats if we can avoid it. Alright, let's get back on you. Okay, so we didn't get all of the bats. We got three levels. Let's, um, yeah, let's keep pumping melee on you for the moment. Uh, I'll worry about that stuff later. Oop. Okay, I'd like to pull the rest of the bats in here first before the, the other guys, if, if we can manage that. Very nice. Okay. Let's give you another level in melee. You know what I forgot to do? Damn it. I forgot to bring some fiber with me or a sickle to get fiber. All right. Let's get these guys. Okay, let's take uh, let's take this because we got mega rabies, and then we'll be immune to it for 175 seconds. What do we got in here? That is a damn nice bow uh, blueprint, actually. Hmm. That other route, I think, just comes out through here. You know what? Let's um. Let's just confirm that, actually. I think it does. It's been a long time I, but since I've been in this cave. Let's get rid of all this shit here. Yeah, that's... Well, actually... Yeah, that was the route right there. Okay, so that's just a... A different branch that leads to the same location. Okay, let's proceed here. I want to get some more kills in while we still have the the buff. And especially while we have the um, immunity of the Mega Rabies. Come here, you bastard. One more bat here. Let's kill this mega or Arthur rather, before he spits on us. Okay, the uh, artifact is down there. Point. Let's give that to you in melee. Kill this guy really quick. Whoa! Cannot see what the hell's going on here. There we go. Yeah, that's nice that we got that uh, explorer note.
Okay, get rid of that. That's our dino's health. It's pretty good. Wow, 140 Megalosaurus. That's scary. Alright, we got him. That might have been uh, a little harder to do if it was would have been nighttime. Whew. Okay. Um... Five levels, beautiful. Let's just keep pumping melee. Maybe we'll get melee to 700, and then we'll go back to strength. Okay, we need to feed this guy and get his health back up a little bit. Oh, and I got freaking mega rabies again, too. Okay. Alright, we got his health to 5,000. I want to keep moving while we still have the buff. Let's get rid of all that shit. Okay, let's go this way. You know what, though? I think we probably killed everything. Except for this bat, of course. Now, there used to be... Uh, this is Artifact of the Clever, by the way. Oh shit. Whoops. This used to be a really deep pool right underneath the artifact with a chest underneath it. I don't know if it still is or not. Let's kill this Areno. And let's see if that's still the case. We have the berry, which is a water dino. Oh yeah, it goes it goes way down here. Uh I'm not seeing a loot crate down here though. But I think sometimes there can be one down here. So every time we come into this cave, we'll just have to to check it. Let's get out of here. I think we have to get up here and go up this way. There we go. Okay. Nice. Um <clears throat> Okay, so we have artifact of the clever. And I think that's pretty much it for this cave. Uh, oh, we got another explorer note. Let's just go ahead and grab it. I don't know where to start with the Raniomorphus amalgotantibus. It has so many of the nightmare-inducing traits of spiders from among many family and genus. It fires webbing like a bowler spider. It spits venom like a lynx spider. It has a poisonous bite like a myriad of spiders and can see in the dark by sensing vibrations. And to top it off, Araniomorphus is larger than an adult human. If that wasn't enough, I'm convinced that some of the caves on the island have actually been dug by Araniomorphus. But this worries me. Either Araniomorphus is a colony spider, like ants, or there is a much larger Araniomorphus somewhere on the island. <laughs> as long as it is kept far from arachnophobics, Domesticated Araniomorphus makes an excellent guardian creature for anyone wanting to avoid killing. Their strange web spraying behavior is also quite helpful while hunting fast, fleeing prey. They are too small to be used as mounts, however. I've never actually tamed one of these. I didn't really see the point. Um, interesting. 
Okay, cool. Well, um, we got another refresh on our buff. Let's go out this direction and kill a few more mobs, see if we can get another point or two. Uh, that's a different pool. Let's, let's hop in here real quick. See if there's anything down below worth scoping out. Oh my god, look at all those piranhas. Let's give a tail swipe. Yeah, that got us some points. <laughs> What's a shit ton of piranhas? My goodness. Um, but I don't see a loot crate down here. Okay. That was a bunch of piranhas, my word. Okay, so let's see, did we... Gets a little confusing down here sometimes. Um, we came through here. Yeah, there's the artifact, it's respawned. Oh man, I was gonna bring, I keep forgetting to bring my otter with me. Then we can get multiple artifacts, but. Okay, so we come out through here and go up this way. I th think we, yeah, we came through that way because there, I just saw the Explorer note box. Um, so I think that's it. So this is actually a small cave. It's probably the shortest cave in the whole game, in fact, I think. There's uh, not a lot to it. Yep, that's it. All right, cool. So we have now conquered the central cave. We've done the lower south cave and the central cave. And technically the northeast cave too, but not on camera. So I'll, I'll be doing that one again with you guys. And um, that leaves our berry at 673 melee and 7,000 health, which is pretty damn good. So what I'm going to probably do, guys, is just keep running this cave with this dino. I might even take him down to this, the lower south cave and run that a few times. Uh, you know, just to get his levels up a little bit more. But obviously, we pretty much own that cave. That was not really difficult at all. There wasn't any point in time where I was actually concerned that we were going to, uh, you know, lose him. And, uh, yeah, so there you go. All right. Uh, let's see. Next, I, I think the tentative plan for the next episode is we're going to go... We're going to go get some water water creatures going. So I, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a sea base uh, just using behibeth gates because it's just the easiest way to do it on the west coast and start you know taming dinos uh, water dinos for that and then start doing the west cave which is the easier of the two sea caves and then you know once we get a pretty decent water army going um, which will consist of basilos probably and megalodons uh, then we'll attempt the east cave, the east sea cave at a later point in time and do some undersea adventures. So that is the plan stand. All right, guys, we're going to wrap up this episode here. Not uh, I'm sure how, you know, how the editing is going to go. It might be a little shorter than some of the other episodes, but um, that's okay because sometimes my episodes go really long. So having a short one once in a while is not a bad thing either. You little bastard, you better not steal my shit. Okay, he didn't. <laughs> I hate those things. Uh, so, yeah, th with that being said, we're going to wrap it up here. Actually, you know what? Before I let you go, let's go ahead and check out the blue drop here. And you stole my shit. Give me my... Wait, who stole my stuff? There's another pego around here that stole my shit. It was you, little bastard. Okay, let's check this real quick before I let you go. See if there's anything good in here. Uh, a nice lance, but I don't really use those for any particular reason. We don't need a compost bin. Yeah, okay. So we're just going to chuck that stuff.
All right. So, yeah, with that being said, uh, thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.